Hey everyone, I'm Anastasia Torchetta and your host for Ignite DDS's Crush Your Career. Well, I'm honored today to be joined by Dr. Chris Salerno. He is practicing out of Melville, New York. You know what? His resume is impressive. He's chief editor of Dental Economics, which is awesome. I've been reading that for years. We're not going to say how long. Um, he is the past president of the American Student Dental Association. Dr. Salerno, thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me here, Anastasia. Good to see you. What's the question that you normally get asked? And how can students right now make a difference? Let's just say starting by September. When I talk, lecture around the country to dental students, I'm asked very frequently, where do I go for my CE? I got a good solid education in dental school, but now I want to learn how to place implants. I want to learn how to do molar endo much faster and so on, cosmetic dentistry, occlusion, all of those principles that seem to be sometimes lacking in our, in our core dental education. So where do you go to get this information? My answer is universally the same. Please, please do a residency. Do a GPR if you're going to be a general dentist. It is absolutely not just a fifth year of dental school. If you go to the right residency, it is not a fifth year of dental school. And in fact, it's the greatest CE experience you will ever have in your entire life. Most CE courses are, you know, whether it's an hour or a half day or even a full day course, it's didactic material and that's great, we need that. There's a bunch more uh, uh, courses that are say a, a weekend course, maybe there's some live patient or hands-on experience, those are awesome too. But without question, having a full year in the right GPR for you is the most hands-on clinical experience you can have on patients of your own record with a team of dentists looking over your shoulder. I really like how you've said that because you know so often too, we always hear it's more. We gotta have more CE, we gotta do more of this, we have to do more of that because we're getting out and all of this is going to be upon us in order to give it to our patients. And sometimes more isn't always better. Sure, quality is, is I think what's most important. And if you can postpone getting into, uh, into private practice for a year, from July to July, you may even stay around for a chief year and really get to do some advanced cases. My, uh, one of my areas of expertise is in restoring implants. I don't place, I just restore. Without question, it was my GPR, which was very strong in implant prosthetics, that gave me that head start. And I've read books and I've taken classes after that, but by having my hands on those kinds of cases in my GPR year, I mean, without question, that's, that's where I needed to start. And I got paid to learn how to do that. Well, the, my last word of advice about this is not all GPRs are created the same. So you have to do your research. If you go to a GP, if you want to learn about implant prosthetics and placing implants and doing molar endo, let's say, if you end up in a GPR program that has a strong pediatric and ortho component, yeah, that maybe is a waste of your time, legitimately. But there are so many programs out there, so many opportunities to work in a hospital setting or, or, or some other kind of setting where if you do your research, you will be making very good use of your time treating the kinds of cases you want to treat and, as I say, getting paid to do it. That is absolutely perfect. And I'm sure in your chapter you share some more tips on how they can not only seek out to do the GPR, but become a better clinician, which also helps them in the end run. So again, you just have to visit Ignite DDS. It's called Crush It. It is the digital format for helping you in a success guide after you get out of college. Dr. Salerno, I want to thank you for joining me and contributing to this really valuable chapter in the book. Thanks, Anastasia. It was my pleasure to be involved with it.